Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 9 under the category Drought Stability Criteria. And the problem is determine the range of K for stability of a unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is given. That is, here the open loop transfer function is given. Right. And the type of a system is unity feedback system. And here, when you look at the transfer function, we are having a constant k, right? So, they are asking us to find the range of k. That is, for what value of k, the system will remain stable, right? So, in the previous problems, we have seen, how, how will you tell whether the system is stable or not? Only with the help of the characteristic equation, right? What is a characteristic equation? That is the denominator part of a closed loop transfer function is known as characteristic equation. Right. So the first step is we have to find closed loop transfer function. And from the closed loop transfer function, we have to find the characteristic equation. Right. So the first step is finding out a closed loop transfer function. So the formula is C of S by R of S which is equal to G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So the value of G of S is given. So just we are going to substitute the values here. So G of S divided by 1 plus G of S and the value of H of S is 1 because the type of feedback is unity feedback. Okay, it is given in the problem. So the next step is we have to take LCM for the denominator term. So when you take LCM, you see these three terms will get multiplied with this one here, right? So here I had multiplied that and this plus K divided by the whole part divided by this term. So here I had mentioned it, right? So since both the denominator terms are same, they cancel each other and finally this is our expression k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 plus k. So this is our closed loop transfer function. So what is the characteristic equation? The denominator term of the closed loop transfer function is known as characteristic equation. So here this is our characteristic equation. Right. So the characteristic equation is here I had written this and finally we are simplifying our characteristic equation. So here we are having three terms so I am multiplying. So s into s plus 1. So s into s, s square, s into 1 becomes s here, right. And the next one s plus 2 and plus k is equal to 0. Then the next step is I am going to multiply these two terms. You see s square into s, s cube, s into s, s square. And the next thing is I have to multiply with the 2. So s square into 2 gives 2s square and s into 2 gives 2s and this plus k equal to 0. So when you simplify you will be having s cube then 2s square plus 1s square gives you 3s square so plus 2s plus k equal to 0. So finally this is our characteristic equation. So from the characteristic equation we are going to form our Routh array. So this is the characteristic equation and the maximum power is s cube that is 3. So I start with s cube. So we have to join all the odd powers. So here s cube and here s power 1. So we are joining this and the next term is s square. So I am joining it, it with s to the power 0 which is nothing but 1. They won't mention it in any problem. Right. So the coefficient of s cube is 1 and s to the power 1 is 2. And the next step, coefficient of s square is 3 and the coefficient of s to the power 0 is k. Right. So now we are going to find s to the power 1. So how to find this? 3 into 2 minus k into 1 divided by 3. So that gives to that gives you 6 minus k by 3. So here I am writing that one. How to find S0? So finding S0 is again 6 minus K by 3 multiplied by K and here we are having 0. So 0 into 3 is again 0 and the whole term divided by this 6 minus K by 3. Right. So here these two terms cancel each other and finally we will be having K as answer. So here I am having K. Right. So what is our problem? Our problem is to find the range of k. Okay. We should tell for what values of k the system will remain stable. So first we are considering s to the power 0 rho. So here I am having simply k. 
right so what is the condition for this k to be stable the value of k should be because you see when you consider the first column of routh array all the elements are positive right so the value of k should be greater than 0 for this system to be stable so from s not row for the system to be stable the value of k is greater than 0 right hope you people understand this concept here and the next step is i am moving to this s1 row so again how should be the value of this s1 row again this value should be greater than 0 because the first column of routh array remaining these two elements are positive so we have to maintain these two elements again positive then only the system will be stable right so for that case this term should be greater than 0 right so here i am substituting the values that is the 6 minus k by 3 should be greater than 0 so when you move this 3 to the right hand side 0 into 3 becomes 0 so 6 minus k is greater than 0 so when you move this minus k to the right hand side here 6 is greater than k we come to a conclusion so 6 is greater than k what it means that then the value of k is less than 6 right the both are same here we are telling the 6 is greater than k then what it means the value of k is less than 6 right so the range of k is it varies from it should lie between 0 to 6 that is less than 6 right so between 0 to 6 is what it means you can substitute 1 2 3 4 and 5 right for example so this is our s1 row right we can take like this for example assume the value of k is equal to 1 here so the expression is 6 minus k by 3 right so when you substitute k as 1 what happens 6 minus 1 by 3 which is nothing but 5 by 3 this is a positive value right for example when you substitute the value of k equal to 2 again the same 6 minus k by 3 so 6 minus 2 by 3 which is nothing but 4 by 3 Likewise, when you substitute the value of k as 5, you will get a positive value here, right? That's all. The problem gets over here. Hope you people understand well. Thank you.